Welcome to Today in Rocket Science, I'm Adam Balkin. School is out for summer, but science, technology, engineering, and math are definitely still in. Just ahead, we'll check out ways you're keeping STEM alive in the steam of summer. Stay with us as we venture around the country in search of summer camps where students, not unlike yourself, are putting STEM skills to work, building robots, cracking tough equations, and even getting outdoors to learn a little more about the world around them. We'll check in with some budding engineers whose science appears to be bordering on fiction, we'll explain. And it's pedal to the metal as we visit the Ford Motor Company to see how professional engineers are using science to design, build, and test the vehicles you see every day. All part of Time Warner Cable's Connect a Million Minds to find more science, technology, engineering, and math opportunities in your community. Visit connectamillionminds.com. Students across the country anxiously await summer vacation, a couple of months without school and time to relax. But in Southern California, a little recess doesn't mean the end of learning. Skateboard enthusiasts are taking their popular pastime and getting a lesson on how the laws of physics can give them a more dynamic ride. Crystal Rich takes in some of the high-flying antics. Thanks, Adam. The YMCA of San Diego and Create a Skate are teaming up for an initiative to help students learn more about math, physics, and science. And what better way than to have them create their very own skateboard? Kick flips, grinds, and 360s. These kids don't only know their tricks, but they're learning the math at work as well. The four-week course is called the Physics Behind Skateboarding. The kids can come over and cut their own skateboard and, and learn all the physics that are involved. We got to learn about like all the math of the skateboards and the measurement. Some professional skateboarders, including Andy McDonald, came out to show their support. To be able to really combine the two elements of having fun skateboarding and learning uh, everything from the, the math and science and physics involved in skateboarding um, and having fun actually riding the skateboards, it's a perfect blend. After students create their very own skateboard, they get the chance to skate alongside some of their favorite pro skateboarders. Paul Schmidt, known in the skateboarding world as the professor, is the founder of the Create a Skate nonprofit and owns a skateboard manufacturing company called PS Sticks. You know, they want to ollie, right? But if the math isn't right, your board's not going to ollie good. You know, so then it comes down to fraction and decimal conversions. They're understanding tenths versus eighths. They're understanding fraction versus decimal. Two places past the decimal or four places past the decimal. So all these things come into place and make an escape board. I did a lot of math to make the board, like make how wide it needs to be, how tall it needs to be, and it is a lot of fractions. And then once they've done this and they have their skateboard and it's all complete, then they can start dropping in on the bowl like this, right? Exactly. Just straight away. Not straight away, they gotta work up to it, but you know how it goes. There's a proof that not only can skateboarding be cool, but also educational. For It Ain't Rocket Science, I'm Crystal Rich. Okay, we go from the agility and aerodynamics of skateboarding to the probability and percentages of basketball, but there's no need to get laced up for this competition. Three, two, one. These middle schoolers are cheering for math. At the beginning of every game, we were doing really badly, and then we just won at the end. It's a board game backed by Learn Fresh, a nonprofit that aims to get students interested in learning in unconventional ways. The game uses real life statistics of professional basketball players and a little bit of math, and it makes for a pretty intense competition. This game requires the students to add, subtract, multiply, and divide in their head. It has increased their mental math skills, but also it increases their love of math. St. Elizabeth's Catholic Academy in Queens, New York, used NBA math hoops for the first time last school year. There's definitely been an impact because a lot of the lower performing students in mathematics actually have actually had a great chance to shine in a different light. Calculate numbers based upon dice that you roll, uh, and then you use those numbers to find spots on the floor to shoot from. Uh, all of the shooting that happens in the game uh, is based upon actual player statistics to kind of add in another dimension of math. And while not all the students were winners in the game, we lost by one point, it was rough. The exercise served them well. I'm gonna put this in my room. Me too. Take a picture of it. <laughs> 
It helps to develop a, a healthy, competitive spirit. NBA Math Hoops has reached over 30,000 students who have collectively done almost 9 million math problems. To find out more about how math plays an important role in your favorite sports and to find fun, hands-on activities, visit the STEM in Sports page on connectamillionminds.com to access tons of games and activities. When that final school bell rings signaling the end of the school year, most students just don't look back, but some look forward to attending a summer school where during these hot simmering days, studying math is actually a pretty cool thing to do. Our Shazia Khan explains. For Kiana Frederick, math isn't just a subject at school, it's life. I really love math. It's just like involves in everything you do, even like the simplest things, like even tying your shoe, how big the loop is going to be for both loops to be equally the same size. So it's no surprise Kiana's summer vacation involves coding, logic, and proofs. Because if it's rational, you can write it as like an integer over an integer. Nearly 80 middle school students, including Kiana, left their New York City neighborhoods for greener pastures and advanced mathematics as part of the summer program in mathematical problems problem solving or spumps. Solving questions and equations and everything, it's just like math is super easy to me at least so I think it's fun. Even though sometimes I can get frustrated, I like um, feeling that satisfaction knowing that I solved the problem. This selective program has these math lovers spending part of July exploring high school and college level math here at Bard College and Siena College in New York's Hudson Valley. A marvelous thing here is that everything that is being learned is being learned just for the sake of learning it and being learned just for the sake of being able to do more problems. Daniel Zaharpol founded SPUMS in 2011 as a way to solve a problem he saw among underserved students. Students. students who may have the promise and potential, but not always the means and the mentors to pursue a career in STEM. Students who pursue those fields, they come from backgrounds where they can do robotics contests and math contests and math circles and summer programs and a lot of independent reading and just this huge supportive network, this ecosystem of things that they do to get them. By the time they're in college, they've seen a lot of this stuff in a lot of different contexts and they've learned to think about it well outside of schools. We want to get these students into that same ecosystem ecosystem. Crunching numbers is just part of the equation. By having this program on a college campus, students get a taste of what's to come. It's a good experience to grow up and mature even more so you can learn how to be by yourself. And of course, solve problems. For today Rocket Science, I'm Shazia Khan. All right, we have to stop here for a quick break, but coming up, science that's renewable, sustainable, and nearly edible? We'll explain, and later, Remember all those wild predictions about the future? Well, in some ways, the future is now and maybe in the hands of these budding engineers. To find more hands-on science, technology, engineering, and math opportunities in your community, visit connectamillionminds.com.